If you could remake any movie and star in it, what would it be? If I could remake it? Mm -hmm. Any movie, any movie, and you could be the star in it. Mm. I like Menace to Society. Mm, who would you be? Some of them niggas died. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play this little game we got on this show. What is this called? Finish the lyric. I'm gonna start the lyric. Can you finish it? Some popular songs. See if you know your hip hop. Lorenzo's on Shit. Yokohama tires. You might have me. You know how that ends? Uh, yeah. Lorenzo's on Yokohama tires. Lorenzo on Yokohama tires. No, you got me. Bling bling. Bling. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Wayne, nigga. All right, let me see if you know this. This is some old school hip hop right here. I met another girl. Her name was Ann. All she wanted was to. Oh, you got me. All she wanted was to freak with a man. That's too short. Too short. Mm hmm. What's the name of that song? Freaky Tales. Freaky Tales. Baby. When you hear that beat, you're going to want to fuck with it. All right, baby. That's your kind of shit. That's your bang bang. All right, the next one is. My name is Peaches, and I'm the best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it had to be like in the 80s or something. Yeah, that's coming to America. The twins said that. My oh, name shit. is Peaches, and I'm the best, and all the DJs want to fill my breast. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're inside the Smoker Studio, a.k.a. Everyday Real Nigga Shit. I'm going to ask you some questions you can answer to the best of your ability. Okay. What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up? Uh, get some money. Hot or cold? Hot. Tacos or burgers? Burgers. Ass or titties? Titties. What's your favorite pair of shoes of all time? Jordans. Favorite cereal? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. How many times a day do you think about sex? All day. What's the worst <laughs> job you've ever had? Church's Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you worked at Church's Chicken, nigga. <laughs> Don't say you was on the window either, nigga. <laughs> you better not been on the window, nigga. <laughs> You been, been in the back driving chicken and you shit. Been, I could, okay, I shit. Do that. That'll work. I can't see you on the window, nigga. I worked probably like a couple <laughs> hours at the ball. <laughs> that nigga said church, they had them good ass, them good rolls and jalapenos, nigga, <laughs> real shit. Good. If you were stuck on the island for a year and could only listen to three albums, what would they be? Um, I listen to, of course, Gangster Pine. We got to add that in there. Yes, sir. I listen to Gangster Pine. I rock with that Drake joint right now. Mm -hmm. uh, with the pregnant bitches on the front? Yeah, he gave it. For sure, he gave it. And uh, I listen to my artist, Big 30. See, that's love. You're going to be over there for a whole year, and that's all you got. Yeah. <laughs> so we locked in. Yeah, on. you locked and loaded. If you could remake any movie and star in it, what would it be? I like Menace to Society. <laughs> Did Kane Kane. make it? Or was Kane, Kane bleeding and shit all the end? I don't think Kane made spitting it. Spitting up blood and shit, but the I little just, baby <laughs> on the big wheel? <laughs> but I fuck with Kane, though, for sure. I can see you being an old dog, though. No, I ain't, I ain't an old dog. I old dog was hard. Yeah, he was hard, but at the same time, he didn't he know how to think, though. He right. wasn't thinking. He was a shooter. <laughs> yeah, he know how to think. That's a real live gang bang. <laughs> what you say about my mama? Yeah, yeah, he just go out the rip like head first. <laughs> All right, Kane, it is then. Kane, if Kane lived, that's a beautiful movie. But if he didn't live, I don't know. Yeah. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? 
Man, I'm like, that's tough because it's a couple of them. I rather like, I want to read minds. Oh, a mind read? Ain't that what I said I wanted to be? Motherfucker, read minds and see what a motherfucker thinking right there. You <laughs> so can make your move like that, like, you hear me? So he would be telepathic, is that what that's called? To be able to read minds, anybody know? I don't think you'll be telling. We ain't got no smart nigga. Nigga said he'd be a mind reader. <laughs> some dumb ass something. We trying to find a big ass word, nigga, to make this uh, shit sound like we know what the fuck we talking about. Is that telepathic? Amador, what would that word be? Yeah, telepathy. Thank you. Smart telepathy. motherfucker. Then you dumb ass nigga talking about mind reader. <laughs> yeah, cuz is a mind reader. You remember what yours was? You said when Tiffany Haddish was on here, you said you want your superpowers, you want to be able to have as many bitches as you want, and the rest of the bitches shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said I want to have a superpower to have as many bitches as I want and my other bitches to shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's a hell of a superpower right there. What's your favorite verse of all time? Give us a, uh, a bar of your favorite verse of all time. Yo shit. Um, she like, we're going to see each other today. I'm like, yeah, for sure that hard. That's your favorite bar? All right. The whole story was a true story. It was facts? Facts. Wasn't made up? I swear to God. And doing, and my other song, Doing Too Much, too. Based on, my song, Doing Too Much, is based on a true story. My cousin was smoking crack. Nigga took my car and left it on the east side. For real? Mm -hmm. I had to check the nigga on the record to get him right, get him off that shit. <laughs> oh, God, doing too much. Yeah, he was embarrassed. I had to check him. Nigga, you're doing too much. It be like that sometimes. Exactly. Okay, we're going to play this shit called Finish the Sentence. I'm gonna start it, you finish it. I always wake up. And think about money. If I could work with anybody dead or alive, I wanna work with. Snoop Dogg. If I could see anybody perform dead or alive, I'd wanna see. Tupac. Everybody got that one friend who. Be on that dumb shit. If I had a dollar for every time I heard someone say blank, I'd be rich. If I had a dollar for. Every time I heard somebody say, Damn. <laughs> he'd be rich. I look Damn for food. I look for blank in a woman. Um Loyalty. My favorite position is From the back. I was talking about sports. Oh shit. <laughs> What's your nasty ass? See that lady? This nigga is a freak. I'm talking about, you know, nigga wanna play point guard, shooting forward. This nigga talking about from the back. Oh, uh, my favorite position, shooting guard. I seen you on the b-ball court. I see you got shot. For sure. If I wasn't a hustler, I'd be uh, I, I had to still be a hustler. I gotta be a hustler. There's nothing else. No other way. You gotta hustle in anything you do. He's a hustler by nature. Black people, do you feel like it's becoming harder to just be? Do you feel concerned about what may be out there, hiding in the bushes or just out of sight? You want to throw a barbecue? You want to go home? You want to mind your business without worrying about Karen? Wouldn't it be great if there was a way to know where all the Karens in your community are before you bump into them? Well, now you can. Introducing Karen, a GPS monitoring app. Karen is more than just a location tracker. It's millions of black men and women keeping each other safe by crowdsourcing valuable intel. The way it works is simple. If you directly encounter or observe a Karen roaming in the wild, grab your phone, drop a pin on the location, and instantly all the people of color in the area will get a notification informing them of where Karen is and what she's up to. If you want to avoid Karens and the trouble she brings, download the Karen app and start tracking, sharing, and reporting her movements today. The meaning of life is... Mm. That's tough. Tunnel vision. When I'm gone, I want to be remembered for. Everything, I want to be a legend. My name is Moneybag Yo and I'm a. My name is Moneybag Yo, I'm one of the realest niggas you're looking at, man. Certified speaker, big bag, locked in. It, what it, like, if you listening to me, you're going to get everything in life. It ain't no this. He stuck on this. From the top to bottom, you're going to let me roll. 
I rock with him. He a real nigga. He genuine. Stand up. Ain't going for nothing. That's money bag, yo. Money bag, yo. What's on your bucket list that you scratched off your bu bucket list? Well, let me say this. What's on your bucket list that you haven't scratched off? I haven't scratched off. And put it in the air right now so the world can hear it, because you know what? This is where dreams come true. This shit is like Disneyland. We call it doggy land. Let's put it in the air. Uh, I don't know. Shit, I want to skydive. I want to try to. You want to skydive? I want to try. I want to skydive. Over water? I want to try some shit. Yeah. Over water or cement? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a no-brainer. I go water. So. Yeah, nigga, you say you really want to skydive. Put this nigga over the cement. Let's see if you want to skydive. Yeah, oh, you want to do it on trampoline in case you fall. Exactly. Trampoline. trampoline. Yeah, that's Show trampoline that's over the, safe, the water. Safe side. What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Tammy, a.k.a. The Cannabis Cutie, and I bring the history, the news, the facts, and the science about cannabis. Let's play a little game of true or false. True or false, your body makes cannabis. Now, while you think about that, I'm gonna spark this up. Now, if you said false, you'd be wrong. The truth is, your body does make its own version of cannabis. Now, I'm pretty sure you've heard of cannabinoids or THC and CBD, two of the most common cannabinoids that are out there. Now, what if I told you your body makes its own version of THC? It's actually called anandamide and it's called the bliss molecule. Now, anandamide looks very similar to THC and when your body doesn't make enough of it, you're able to go out into nature and supplement with plants. Now, those cannabinoids are called phytocannabinoids. Anandamide is what's called an endocannabinoid. And phytocannabinoids are here to help us. So much so that your body has what's called an endocannabinoid system, or the ECS for short. Think of the ECS as a system in your body that rules everything. The central nervous system, the endocrine system, the cardiovascular system, everything in your body. Imagine the system as a set of locks and there's only a certain set of keys that can fit into those locks and unlock it. Those locks are called receptors, and those keys are called cannabinoids. That's why whenever you consume CBD or THC, your body has such an effect to it. Your body is literally communicating with the plant and it's telling your body what to do to heal itself. The endocannabinoid system is responsible for homeostasis, or which is just a fancy word for balance. So there you have it. Your body makes cannabis, and if it doesn't make enough, there's a plant to help you. What you smoking on right now, nephew? Truffles, and I got you some. You brought me some of that shit? Oh, Lord. Best weed in America. This nigga really is money bag. He didn't bring no 20 bag. That nigga Best brought a bag. Best weed in America, man. I don't know if you can get the camera to pan in. This shit, shit look good. Don't zoom in on that. This shit look real good. That's the best smoke, man. Courtesy of? Bag. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm. Bag. Mm. I like the color scheme too. That's beautiful. Stamp that. This show shit for real? Yeah, for sure. Where can we get it at if we want to try to purchase some? Me. Oh, straight up? But you can't purchase it. I got it. This nigga's a real <laughs> dealer. <laughs> this nigga said me. If, if he, well, nigga, what if you ain't in town? <laughs> well, nigga, wait till I get back in town. This shit break up nice too. Look how I'm breaking it up, y'all, for y'all to see this yeah, shit. For sure. Mm. Fresh. Yes, sir. We got a fresh batch right there. Better know it. Straight from Money Bag. The only thing is, y'all can't get it from Money Bag. Exactly. So just so really, that what I'm telling them, they ain't got the real one if they ain't get it from. Money. Right. So what he's saying is, if you see motherfuckers selling it, and with this logo eight, this is the official. Yes, official. If it ain't this, and it didn't come from Money Bag, yo, it ain't real. So you getting got? Don't spend with that nigga out there that's faking and shaking. Don't do that. Don't do it. It may got some fentanyl in it. <laughs> For real. They putting bullshit in weed too. They putting it in that cocaine. Yeah. All my homies that snort cocaine had to stop for about two months. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure that shit out. They <laughs> said, yeah, I had to pull back, man. They got some bad shit out there in the streets. I said, For real? They <laughs> said, yeah, man. They got some bad shit out there in the streets. Money bag, yo. What's up, bro? Thank you for coming to the GGN. For sure. You a real nigga, man. You said you was going to do it and you did it. 
You want to give a shout out to anybody out there that's watching? Uh, Mama shout out to everybody that support me, whatever I got going on. Appreciate that love. It's a real pre pleasure being on this show with you, bro. Locked in. I want to do stuff. I want you to teach me how to do the, sh the movie shit, all this shit. Uh, go tune in to whatever I got going on. I won't misguide you. Bread Gang, the label, CMG, Endless. You already know what it is. Let's go. Yeah. Shout out to Mac. Shout out to Mac Bo, Z Bo. Shout out to Head. Endless, got it, everybody, the whole fam. Right, open yourself up for the information. Yeah. And, and be open to, to just being who you are, master you. Yeah. Because right now you're doing the best version of you and everybody loving it. For sure. And you loving it. Because yeah. you're finally figuring out that all I got to do is me. Mm -hmm. Fuck all that other shit. If I do just me, turn the bitch. come on, man. Lock in. It's only one you. And you're kind of a one because you're one of a kind. Mm -hmm. And that is the <laughs> GGN, and you better know it. This is Big Snoop Dogg. Tune in next week where we'll have another exciting guest on the show. But in the meantime, in between time, we DPG see you in a real way. I want to thank my guest, Moneybag Yo, and all the people yeah, behind the scenes that did that there. Yeah, I'm talking about. And then uh, the real flamboyant way, we're going to smoke our way up out of here. Smoke our way up out of here. Some of this truck. I'm done. Truck. Smoke our way up out of here.